What's good everybody? I am Aditya Munkuri, the host of Tax Podcast. Today I brought you a very interesting and beautiful episode, which is sponsored by Inside the Pages 984. Today's topic is the top 5 books which will help you in self-improvement. Before getting into the video, I would like to explain you some insights about Inside the Pages 984. Inside the Pages 984 is a Facebook and Instagram page, which will post a lot about the books, updates, the new updates, the short intros, and short summaries about the famous and the latest books. So make sure you follow them. Number 1. Ikigai Ikigai means living long and happy life. I find through this book why it's important for us living meaningful life. Objectful life brings us joy. If we have objective in life, our path gets generated where we have to go in it. But we Having set an object to yet we lose ourselves in crowd and finding yourself, finding your goal of living life is Ikigai. Ikigai has lots of benefits like being disciplined, staying active, not living always in rush, eating less and feeling light, surrounding with friends and getting in shape, cheerful attitude, connections with nature, feeling thankful for everything to everyone, live in the moment and last finding your Ikigai. Number 2. Think like a monk. This book is written by Jay Shetty, one of my favorite, favorite influencers. In this inspiring, empowering book, Jay Shetty draws on his time as a monk in the Hindu tradition to show us how we can clear the roadblocks to our potential and power drawing and ancient wisdom and his own rich experience in the ashram. Think Like a Monk reveals how to overcome negative thoughts and how habits to success access the claim and purpose that lie within all of us. The lessons monks learn are profound but often abstract. Shetty transforms that into advice and exercises we can all apply to reduce stress, sharpen focus, improve relationships, identify our hidden abilities, increase self-discipline, and give the gifts we find in ourselves to the world. J. Shetty proves that everyone can and should think like a monk. Number 3. Life's Amazing Secret This book is written by Gaud Gopaldas, one of my favorite spiritual guru. This book is a simple, complete package of understanding ourselves and serving the world. It covers all areas of the individual being, personal life, relationship, work life, social contribution and all. Gaud Gopaldas has written in such a way that he is explaining principles of life by giving real life examples and the experiences that he had faced with people and himself. Once you start reading this book, it's very hard to get detached from it because it has a glue element attached to it. You get deeply involved in it while reading. Language is simple, easily understandable and very very refreshing. I'm sure it will boost your positivity. Number 4. 7 Mindsets of Success This was written by Swami Mukundananda. Hardship are an inevitable part in the journey of life. But due to ignorance, we hold responsible the circumstances and people around us for our misery and considerable time is wasted in playing the blame game. The book Seven Mindsets for Success, Happiness and Fulfillment explains appropriate methodology to deal with hardship. The book depicts the paramount importance of our thoughts and attitude in every spectrum of our life. It entails simple techniques to master our mind. These are ancient Vedic techniques which are inordinately effective even in today's scenario of science and technology. Swamiji's penmanship includes real-time example, logic and humor, which makes the concept easy to understand. The book has immense potential to inspire people of all generations to uplift, uplift their equality of life. The last, number 5. Things My Son Need to Know It was written by Frederick Backman. Things My Son Needs to Know About the World collects the personal di- dispatches from the front lines of one of the most daunting experiences any man can experience. Fatherhood. As he conveys his profound how to experiencing all the firsts that fill him with wonder and catch him completely unprepared. Frederick Backman doesn't shy away from revealing his own false steps and fatherly flaws, tackling issues both great and small, from masculinity and mind life crisis to particular jokes and poop. Okay, this is the end of this episode. If you find something new, don't forget to comment me. And subscribe to my channel. This is Aditya Munkuri signing off. And make sure you you follow Inside the Pages 984 in both Facebook and Instagram. Thank you. Peace.